I'm hoping my 3D printer can save me time waiting for a Lego brick that is currently missing in my UCS X-Wing that I'm currently building. Let me show you the issue. So this is the current set that I'm building, the uh, Lego Star Wars X-Wing Starfighter UCS set. The trouble is, in this set, originally on the stand, they didn't have this part here, which stops the X-Wing from falling down further and parts popping off. That's what I discovered from reading Reddit threads and forums. So I've had to request this part. I've got the Technic pins. I just don't have the Technic beams in the set bags, which is a little bit annoying. So I've ordered those, but those of you who know what part picker or missing parts can be like, it can be about two weeks before you get the parts. And I want to move on. But with my 3D printer, I'm going to try and 3D print the beam that I need um, quickly so that I don't have to wait two weeks for the replacement part to arrive. And I can then carry on building this set with the stand. And then once the Lego part arrives, just quickly switch them around and we can carry on and move on. It took me a while, but I have managed to find an STL of the Lego part that I need. It looks a bit messy there, but I'm hoping if I get my settings correct, we should be able to print it a little neater than that. And like I said, it's only going to be temporary, hopefully. So I've got them both in my slicer. I've gone for an infill density of 100 and a layer height of 0.12 millimeters. So hopefully that should print pretty neat and we can have some working beams a lot quicker than waiting for the Lego parts to arrive. The print is on the way. So this is only going to take about four minutes, thankfully. So that should not be too bad. But I've just realized my first mistake. I didn't do it as print as one piece. Oh, well, hopefully we won't have any issues. So they're both printed all right, actually, luckily. They've got a little bit of string in, but that should be okay. I can just quickly file that off. And it's only a temporary piece. So let's take them inside and see if they work with my X-Wing. Ignore my digestive crumbs, but the beam and the Technic pin slot in perfectly. And now it is on the stand. There's no one to somehow move this X-Wing and get the X-Wing on top of that without it falling apart. And we have it on the stand. <laughs> These little 3D parts actually did okay. And I quite like them in red. I think it contrasts quite well and uh, matches the body of the X-Wing. A little different and a bit nicer.